Are you sure she can be trusted? This girl sounds a bit shady to me. Aren't we all shady individuals here, Kijor? I have my own reasons for trusting this Khajiit. I mean, you wouldn't trust a Lionor at a glance, would you? Yet here she is, in our midst, listening in on all of our plans. Just the sight of her is enough to scare off children and send them crying to their mothers. There are so many delightful ways I've pictured you dead. <laughs> oh, you. At least Alice still loves me, right? I've seen the way you look at me lately. I find the concept of sleeping with you not only repulsive, but morally unsettling. Does that answer your question? Ouch. That hurt. That is different. We helped Alionaut escape from Riften Jail. We have a history. This Jerina you talk of does intrigue me. I can't deny that, but... All this talk of dragons and dragonborn lately has me confused. I don't want to lose sight of our mission. We will find your family, Kidur. But by aiding Jerina, we will be disrupting the Crimson Swords. Their recent developments are worrying me. They've been in contact with new clans and appointed new non-orcish commanders, and we've yet to find out who the leader of this organization is. By getting close to her, we can get close to them. <sighs> Alright, Marthar. Tell me, what would you have me do? I won't be requiring your assistance, just your approval. All I need is the aid of Alice and Eleanor. Something tells me this Khajiit girl is in a whole heap of trouble again. Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, and are you ready to break out of jail? Wow, an Elder Scrolls character breaking out of jail. That's new. So in the last one, Madanok and the rest of the Forsworn were trying to escape, but they've kind of left me in the dust. What are you? Are you under the bed? They said something about digging a passage. Well, good thing I got my pickaxe with me, so if any of them try something... I don't trust them, but I think they're my only way out of here. Oh, there they are. Everybody was gathered waiting for me. That's nice. Alright, you guys. Let's go. Maranak himself leading us with that bare chest of his. No, that's not even him. Sorry. Sorry, I just... All you know, I just look the same. I'm sorry. It is, it's just an observation. It was... Okay. Jerina needs to keep her racist thoughts to herself. Not say them out loud. Yes, that is probably for the best. Oh no. Spider webs. Mean spiders. Ah. Smack that spider booty. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Well, this is good. I can't believe I'm about to unleash these people upon the world, but at least it helps me get out of here. If I don't enter into any trouble, I'm sure the- Oh! Spider- Whoa! Charge! Oh, it's so dark. Oh! Ah! I think I've been poisoned. I'm just gonna hang back for a minute. It's dark in some areas here, but I don't have a torch. I don't have any of my gear. I would like that back, you know? Are you guys following a line? I guess they are so civilized. We had Madanak fighting. So oh! Well, the Dwemer stuff's out and about. Or the Dwemer, rather. Take it! It's just a giant ball. How hard can it be? Good. Good job. Let's see. Good stuff. So glad I brought this pickaxe. Should have brought two. That would have been cool. Swinging them around like a madman. What? Good work. Get ready while I have a word with our favorite outsider. You get it up. I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this. It's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Khajiit would sooner forget all of this. Time to finally see the sky and make it rain red. 
like you gave me a new outfit though and you gave me so much that I'm already encumbered. That's great. Well, hold on. Before you go take over the world, just just let me have a look at what you gave me. Oh. -ho. Well, I don't know sure if the Forsworn outfit is really gonna It's really gonna fit all that well. Oh, -ho, check that out. What a babe. What a babe. No, I think I'm just gonna stick with my regular gear. Thank you very much. Boom, boom, boom. Then where's my... What do I usually wear? Probably leave behind some of that. Now let's go out and, uh... Well, witness what I have done. I said... Malanak! It's closed. Can you open it for me? I had... And take this. It's blessed with the old magics. What happens now? Now? I announced to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. It would have been cool if you could have actually been friendly with the faction. Because they, in a way, they set you up to be friendly, but you're not actually friendly. But like some mods where you can, like alternate start mods, you can like decide to start and be a force one and be in their faction and such. And that's, I always found that really cool and I wish that was possible in the vanilla game. Madanak, I think you can escape my prison, do you? You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Your family? You've poisoned the Reach with your tainted silver for long enough, Thonar! Never Here we go. Well, you know what? You guys just fight out what- Oh, wow, they killed a guard in seconds. You know what? I think I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna chill. Oh, oh Thonar's back. Uh, well, um... I'm terribly sorry. About everything that I have done. Uh, well. Whoopsie. Let's have a look in our quest log. Okay, so we did apologize to the priestess of uh, Debella after cleaning up the temple. Told me to ask about Sam and Rorik's dad, so... We're supposed to hit the road and get back over there, huh? Well, I suppose. First matter would be to get off down on the road, meaning exiting the city. So nobody mind me. I'm just a simple Khajiit who are not involved in this in any way. Ah! I would actually like to sell some items, she said, casually passing by tons of corpses. I would like to find a store to get some of my... Are you guys in the mood for selling? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't mind the backgrounds. Everything is fine in this town. Don't worry about it. You'll... You'll survive. Dwarven armor. Well, that's what I like to see. But steel plate is, uh, is just better. Ooh. Sure grip. Na... Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Executioner's double axe. How much is the Harvester of Souls? It is 48. Oh, it is so cool though. Look at that. Uh, if it had custom animations and stuff, I would. But it's just going to swing like a regular axe. So whatever. A regular great axe. I don't even know if we can really improve on a lot of our... Corundum ingots I think I need to improve on my gear. So I should buy, let's say that I buy like, let me just buy seven of them for now. Let's have a look. Let's use this workbench. Ugh. Ah, don't get dizzy, guys. Don't get dizzy. So now we can turn this armor f into fine armor. Boom. So let's improve on all of our armor then. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I don't think we can upgrade our weapon either because we lack some materials, but good thing. Now, I want to sell. 
While people are talking about gutting people like horkers. Such a peaceful town you got here. I love it. There. That made me some cash. And I can move more freely. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, having a good day? Killing people? That's great. I'll just be taking this. Okay, well, um... Uh, ah, what have I done? What have I done? Jerina is a terrible person. Very terrible. Can I do a drop attack down on the market from above? Like some kind of craziest... I think I would die if I jumped down here. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, good god! Become ethereal! Yay! I found a use for it. How you guys doing? You know, I would recommend staying away from the, um... The shadier districts of town right now. You okay with that? Yes. Alright, good. Take care. Don't go near! It's crazy! Oh, well, excuse me! Ex I'm not with them! I, I, uh, Jerina has no affiliation with those very, uh, those men without proper morals. That horse is gonna go up in the archery tower and probably, uh, snipe some fools. That's what, that's what it looks like. Okay, well, that was fun. Raven, are you all, Raven, no, you can't be an archer. Raven, come, I'm here. You silly little goose. Markarth horses. Apparently they dream of uh, climbing towers one day. Just keep on dreaming, horse. Dreams are important. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Okay. Well then. Whoop. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to. What? Do you, what? Wait. Wait. Excuse, horsey, stop. What? Stop. No. Somebody help. Somebody help me. It's out of control! Raven? No, 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 no! I'm under- I think I'm under some sort of spell! I'm a- Uh-oh. I can't stop- I don't know what's going on! There's a dragon! Battle the dragon! Uh- Wait. Wait. Where am I? What- What is this, then? Oh. A dragon's flying over there. Let's try and avoid it if at all possible, and let's see if we can't make our way to Rorikstead. Get out of my way, goat. Got places to be. I'm an important kitty cat. Well, Drina's supposed to talk in third person. That's that's her goal, but it doesn't always work out. Let's see. Markarth, Wedron. It's not on the signs, but I think it's this way. Let's just hope that that dragon decides that all it wants to do is enjoy the view, shall we? It's getting dangerously close. I'm gonna hit a dragon with my war ha Oh, no! Why is there two of them? Oh, no, ride. Ride, Raven. Ride like you've never ridden before. It's right. Oh, I, am, I cannot fight two dragons. But do I really want to be known as the dragonborn who ran from dragons? Do I? Oh no. Orc, you wanna help me out? I think I'm actually gonna side with him. Come on. I'm gonna need your help here. <gasps> no! Raven! Don't stay frosty! What are you doing? Those dragons are going to be attacking my, my horse as well. Help me out! This guy appears to refuse to- Ah! He refuses to land. Whoops. That was the wrong one. Whew. Ah! I hate it when they don't land. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Shoot them with arrows that do no damage? I mean, I suppose. Why can't you- Oh. Ow, ow. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't working out. They're just gonna... They're the annoying type of dragon that just flies around forever. You know, enjoy the dragon fight. But, uh... I think I'm gonna go. I have better things to do. 
I really do have better things to do. Alright. Hey, hey, horsey. Let's go. Wah. Bum -ba -da -ba. I wish they would just land. Oh, well. It's fine. I wish I had the shout that could make them land. But I suppose I will obtain that in time. Just fighting them in the air is infuriating. Well, you two are about to have a bad day. Have fun fighting the dragon. I'm just leaving the work to everybody else. I'm the dragonborn who got everybody else to slay dragons. That's me. Did ah no, it's another one of the mud crab legions. They have like the the big brother, the mud crab Onichan, who spawns all of them. I wonder if I want to get a Rorik stead. Let's go around the mountain and not across. These wolves are just going for me. Ah, out of my way, goaties. Sorry. We got places to be, people to meet. Jadina's an important kitty cat, okay? I think maybe we can cross. We should be able to cross here and then we should be in Rorikstead. So maybe we can get some answers about everything that happened. That was one wild, wet, drunk night. Maybe not wet, I don't know. I'm not, I'm unsure exactly what went down, but you know. I'm just, I'm not ruling it out, okay? Are we good? No more dragons? We're flying in the distance somewhere, but. Oh well. Well. Maybe I could take this time to talk to you a little bit, for those of you who don't know about my first Skyrim series, and just the characters and such. I don't know, I feel like that could be useful. So, you see, back in November 2011, I started my first ever Skyrim series, and that was with the character Elianor. Elianor was a wood elf assassin, so one of my favorite playstyles in Elder Scrolls games is the stealthy, sneaky, stabby, shooty playstyle, so that was what she became. There's a nice view here. There, down, there's the, down there's the place. So we did the Dark Brotherhood with her, we did the Thieves skill with her, and when I later reintroduced her in the Kajor series, she was always a very... Mm, she keeps to herself. Like, she's kind of antisocial in a way, she's pessimistic, she can be a bit rude, but, you know... She she owes us, and I think she she respects Kijor, so she sticks around even though she hates Marthar. And Marthar was a series with a Breton mage that I made in, was it December 2011? And one of his main characteristics was the fact that he would perv on all the ladies. He was influenced by some anime antagonists, I guess, that I'd seen at the time, so... I just... Found that to be a, a fun character to play with, the pervy old man, so he rose to become the Archmage. Whee! I gotta find answers around here somewhere. He rose to become the Archmage. And then later, in uh, whoa, January of 2012, kill that wolf! I started up Alice, who was an Imperial warrior. Who was in, well, the Imperial Legion, and she got really good at smithing, and she made some amazingly epic gear and enchanted it, and... Alice was just a warrior babe. Then, in was it February of 2012? All of those series were just one month apart when I think about it. That's kind of crazy. Kijor started up. My Khajiit character where I had like a custom set of rules that I was going to like sneak around and steal from people. And I had this custom goal of obtaining 100,000 gold because I needed that to like free Kijor's family from the Crimson Swords. If you would like a summary of what happened in Kijor Season 1, I can leave some links down below because I made a summary video just in case because, well, there's no denying that the story of Kijor Season 1 is going to play a little role in this series as well. So that's just some general background information about those series if you're left completely in the dark just so you're not like... Who are all these characters? I don't understand anything. Rah! Welcome. Let me know if you want to. Now here's Meralki again. Here now where's Sam? I don't see the man I drank with here. Meralki! Hey. You need a meal or room. Well I've got both. I don't know where I'd be without you. Okay. <laughs> So he doesn't have anything, I would think the innkeeper would be the guy to ask. Hello. If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. No, no farming here. I need answers. I got enough trouble, so don't go adding to them. Rude. 
You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Okay. What is it that you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. Hmm. Potatoes and leeks do not fight back. You should probably stick to farming. No, okay. I heard you guys argue earlier, so... Kijit will see what she can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. I spend every day tending the fields, and what do my daughters do? Nothing! Complain and caterwaul. Okay. Sleep and eat. Useless. Okay, we're all a big happy family here in this town. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Huh. Rorik. Gijit has a hunch that the town of Rorikstead is named after you. Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. That's great. All right, then. Nobody here has any information about this man who I met. There's nobody here. I suppose I'll ask around other places, then. Actually, your son asked me to talk to you. I mean, what's up? If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Jirina would like to talk to you about your son, yes? My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? He's sitting right behind me. Your son should be allowed to choose the life he wants. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. <sighs> Take this as a gift from a sponsor and buy some armor, yes? You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit Whiterun soon to fit him for armor. There we go. That's usually how Jarena solves her issues. The little bit of coin. It doesn't seem right to just straight up intimidate somebody, and Jarena's charms aren't always Do on point. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. The positivity is really flowing out of this one. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Your father has changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Mm -hmm. You're trying so hard to be cool, Eric. It's not working out. Now, where could I find answers in this little town? Mr. God. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Oh, that's the... I saw that outfit in Whiterun. What are you doing here, and why are you talking to me about the Dawn Guard? Can you just please shut up? I'm so tired of hearing about it. Somehow I got a feeling this man is special. You! You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, eh? Jirin has no idea what you're talking about. Is that so? Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The star beauty of my farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? You better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. Excuse me? Uh, Jirin admits that sounds pretty bad. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. Oh, ja, I'm not paying him a thousand gold. Did Jerina say anything about where she left the staff? You mentioned something like that when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat, and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. Ah. Uh, Until next time. Well, did I run off with a goat? What the heck did I do in my drunken state? This is terrible. 
What? It's getting dark. Maybe I take Eric up on the offer. He doesn't have any adventures to tell me as of yet, but maybe a mug of ale at the inn will be just right for me. <sighs> Should find a bed. Well, guys and girls, that is going to conclude today's adventures. We escaped from Markarth. Everything was crazy over there. Uh, not because of us, of course. We are just an innocent Father, kitty cat. How old were you when you left home? And where this is going, so they are arguing again, even though I did resolve their conflict. That's interesting. Oh, Skyrim. Well, I'll see you in the next one when we go chasing down a goat and try to figure out whatever I did on my drunken rampage. Well, better lay off the air. Have still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.